Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Rangwechana and you tuned in to Friday the 18th of August 2023 Surab Sudi reading. Today's title is The Kingdom Vent for Righteousness. While you're still at that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Make sure that you like and share these videos with your loved ones and do not hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. The opening scripture is Luke 17 verse 21 which reads as follows. Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or Lo, there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Praise God. So the kingdom of God is within you. Pastor says, now that you are born again, the kingdom of God is at work and operational in you and through you. You are a kingdom vent for righteousness, the outworking of God's righteousness. When Jesus came, he offered the kingdom to Israel, but they didn't believe him. They rejected his message. He then extended the offer to the Gentiles, which is us, hallelujah, to all nations. Glory be to God. Today, anyone who believes in Jesus Christ has received the kingdom. So if you believe in Jesus Christ, it means you have received the kingdom. A magnificent kingdom. Glory be to God. So you have received a magnificent kingdom. In Isaiah 35 verse 5 to 6, the prophet Isaiah declared, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. This is a manifestation of the kingdom. It was the understanding of this that made me go preaching in the backside of civilization where there was darkness, pain, and poverty. In those crusades, I would command blind eyes to open, deaf ears to be unstopped, the mute to speak, and the lame to walk. And they did, Pastor said. Knowing that the concluding part of the sixth verse referred to the end of poverty and lack, I would declare to the crowds that irrespective of their circumstances, they possessed a supernatural life now that Christ was alive in them. They believed and were transformed by the truth. Glory be to God. So even you have to believe and be transformed by this truth. Glory be to God. The evidence of the kingdom was undeniable. Christ in you brings forth righteousness and the outworkings of his kingdom. It is a transformational reality that manifests in the ability to live righteously and experience the abundant life of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us take the prayer. Say, Dear Father, I thank you for your kingdom that's in my heart. Your glory and righteousness are in me and revealed through me. I'm the kingdom vent for righteousness and the outworking of righteousness. Your kingdom reigns and is established in the earth and in the hearts of men. As the gospel is proclaimed around the world today. In Jesus' name, amen. For further studies, we read Mark 1 verse 14, Colossians 1 verse 27, and Luke chapter 17 verse 21. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we read 1 Corinthians chapter 3, all of it, and Psalms chapter 109 to chapter 112. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, today we read Luke 17, verse 11 to 19, and 1 Samuel chapter 3, all of it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Do join us tomorrow as we read the message titled, Called to Excellence, Glory to God. Do tune in tomorrow for this beautiful message. And this is Information with Sepiso. Thank you so much for tuning in today and have a beautiful day.